Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about Spring Reckoning and anything else you want to talk about. Uh, the link's in the right-hand side in case you'd like to join the show. And um, let's go and say hello to everybody. Uh, KB? G'day, g'day. Uh, TSM? I can just say good morning, good morning. Oh, is it after midnight? It's got four minutes past here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all righty. And uh, Pegleg. Now, you did say we could talk about anything else we want to talk about. You know, mm -hmm. that opens up a whole litany of possibilities here. We could talk about the rising cost of heating a home in the UK and Scotland, Ireland, and what an absolute bleep job that's become. That is true. Uh, Especially have today. Gone, <laughs> yeah, have you gone in and cashed in your rubles? It's a uh, 54% <laughs> rise today. It's ridiculous. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, started today, April Fool's Day. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see how that gets uh, ironed out in the future. Um, okay, well, um, for something else, let's, uh, let's we'll get moving. Yep, yeah. and again, if anybody out there wants to join, the link is there. We can move on. Um, um, yep, it is April. Yet to get April calendar. Um, I checked before the show as well. I'm like, is there a calendar? No, no, no. There was something about was it Hank was going to be off next week, so maybe he forgot. Yeah, he yeah uh, another attitude adjustment. He he takes like a week off every month, so or it seems that way to me. So, um, all right, uh, right now we're in spring reckoning. Um, Jaws of the Beast for the Winter Fang might be interesting to some people. Uh, next week, we should expect the pillage. And the following week, we should expect the raid for our new ship, which I forgot the name of. Because I think they told us at some point, didn't they? Uh, it was in the pop-up about earning the armors for the new assault thing. It's the Battle Cruiser 3. Oh, yeah, Mark 2. <laughs> Mark yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Heavy Cruiser, right? Heavy Cruiser, excuse me, yes. Yeah, Heavy Cruiser Mark 2, that's right. So, um and then vxp weekend and then bounty and then um let me see how many uh double check may only has oh it was close only has four wednesdays so we will not have an extra week so um it was so close though to having five wednesdays in uh in may so oh, wait, wait wait i should be looking in april never mind yep still still uh only four uh Four in April, um, four in May, five in June. So we will have an extra week in June. So that's how you figure out if we get a uh, extra events. Um, alrighty. Uh, any more thoughts on the calendar? No, just like to see what the new one's going to give us. Well, I think we pretty much know. <laughs> well, I mean, TLC wise, what they might have planned. You know. Yeah, yeah. Are they going to drop power play for something that's not a linefish target? I mean, that would be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when we should expect that uh, a change over to these uh, these garrison targets being um, brutes. Right. I would. I would think at some point. Um, soon um that we should start to see a change a trans transition away from the lionfish um okay moving and, along all right uh one more click um has anybody uh decided on a uh, a 12 uh rumbler rumbler rocket uh base yet i actually saw one with eight okay I think I'm at six. I think that's my on that. Okay. Okay. And how does that work out as far as a uh, timeout base or what, whatever it's working? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I'm just trying to count how many I've got. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've got six. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously making me quite boring to most people because I seem to be get left alone at the moment. So I think Daniel gets more the excitement, to be honest. Okay. I don't know why that is. I'm not certain. I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. there, there are times it seems like it's a party with balloons at my place. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I think I have 
No, I'm thinking I only have three. I only have three at this point. I haven't put the, uh, gone out and gotten the second one in the FN because I only had two walking in. So, um, okay. Um, any more thoughts on the new FM items? Um, as in, as in the fact that there's turrets in there, or I, I don't know. Any thoughts on? I mean, basically, the only one that impacts anybody that's even a non-bounty player is the rockets, because the halos and the the splinter um, launcher were were available. Um, what in the raid, and you know, they were available in other places prior. So, Although you could have players that struggle to get points that are going to pick them up now, so that's I mean great for them. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think it's also very cost effective actually getting them out of the FM. I think if if you can hit you know the, the targets, well, if you I can never it's... find any two twenty threes, well, they seem to have <laughs> fixed that. Um, yeah, over the last I've, day. I've, I would, yeah, today's they've been gone, okay for those. They've gone from two spawning spots for the the two. 13, the 223, and the 233, they used to be just two spawn spots for those three targets, I and mean, it's gone to four. So now they're, they're much more available than they were at the, uh, the beginning of the FM. So they seem to have realized there was a problem there and fixed it. So, okay. Um, if we're done with that, we can move on. All right, the daisy cutter, one more click. Already seen them in use. How do they work? Mm, made a badger to go poof. Okay. <laughs> Poofy badger. So yep. uh... badger went poof. <laughs> badger went poof. It didn't help the, the end result me, but the badger went poof. Okay. All righty. Um, so somebody has had to uh, already knew this was coming or spent a lot of uh, coins on um, doing all the upgrades for. Cue the uh, register sound. Yep. Ka ching so uh yeah i mean at least it has a um has a purpose now whether it has a purpose when the uh level um 11 uh, or tier 11 um defenders come out we will see um but yeah it does take between the research and the upgrades required for the weapon lab the um launch pad and then doing the research itself well, I guess you could be upgrading your launch pad at the same time that you're um, researching it, but it, you're still talking like 40 something days. So we're probably gonna have a tier 11 defender at that point. So, um, and it may not work quite as well. So you yeah, uh, would hope not. Yeah, so, all right, we can move on and see. You if actually we... have a d decent defender ship. Stop it, no way, I'm not having that. <sighs> All right, so how is everybody doing in Spring Reckoning? Well, some people make it sound like the picture they're a bloody mess, but honestly, it hasn't been a problem for me. Yeah, the, if, for those that haven't, they tried the targets last night and um, have not tried them today. They are, uh, the invisible land is gone, um, and some of the weirdness in trying to drive it is uh, has been eliminated. So um, if you were overly frustrated um, last night, I would, I would give it another try today. Um, it's much more straightforward. I mean, there's not, because that, that's the part that baffled me. I was still getting decent times. I was still getting like 10, 15 minutes on the 110, I think is the number. Mm -hmm. I, um, but now I tried it again today and I was getting um, um, instant on the water. Um, because I knew where I was going. I wasn't going to automatically just randomly run into a brick wall that was invisible. Um, so now it's, it's, um, I've only hit that. I've only hit the, the lower target because I don't really have a requirement for that many points. So um, I'm not a big uh, um, hull skin guy. So um, I just finished up some uh, purifier stuff, but we can click ahead. Um, um yeah and they gave us some clues um the clues are spot on i mean yeah 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 but it appears like i mean the clues are spot on but it was like nobody tested it is the way i feel about it 
it felt like you know all the invisible land at least if you wanted to make uh, like a border around it at least show it you know because it wasn't like it was herky-jerky as far as the way that that border was um designed um and um it just made it very un unpredictable in the driving mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> But yeah, they're spot on. But um, I don't know if anybody's going to want to demo it because it's it's once you get it down and understand. Um, again, I only have experience with the one ten. It's just understand the the temperament and the behavior of the ship. Um, it's not. I don't find it to be all that difficult once you just become attuned to it after hitting it a couple times. Uh, no, I didn't see it, Artith. Um so anybody um have any thoughts about about it or want to run through it um so people i think the only thing you need to say is people need to be patient i mean and, and that's not the current trend of many things where people just get frustrated but if you can keep away from the thorns aspect and count to 10 then that's all you need to do really yeah and uh. and follow the ship just chase it behind you know if you haven't done them already just it has a, almost like a set pattern. And if you're just following behind it, dip in two, three, two or three shots, and then dip back out again before the thorn starts again. So. I don't follow it. I actually get out in front of it and like we cross in the night, so to speak. All right. I'm no, going, I just I, I, I just follow behind it because I'm faster than what it is. And as soon as the thorns drops, I cut in, and then I just pause and let it run behind me, uh, run ahead of me again. So yeah, um, yeah, because I try. I sort of. I had right at it once the uh, thorns drop and try and drop the sunfire thrower on Onto it. Onto its head, yeah. Yeah. Um, in addition to our longer range weapons. And that seems to be somewhat effective. Um, I was getting zero seconds and now, yeah, I drove on top of it and dump my load and take the hits. L20 target. <laughs> okay. Um, um 30 seconds a piece okay well that, that, that is one way to do it um yeah yeah um yeah uh, um yeah okay yeah you can do that um i don't know what i would do with all those points but um okay um there was there was somebody. What do you do with three point three million points? Put it that way. Exactly. Well, I, somebody explain the logic of that one to me. I just don't get it, but it's funny. Yeah, I mean, it really seems like they should get rid of some of these people off the leaderboard because it really it throws some questions out there. I mean, you know about the integrity of certain things that these people have these scores and there's no reason for them to have these scores because they can't what are they buying with all these points um and why would they they obviously have to be spending money in order to do it i would assume or spending a huge amount of time you know as uh B bully's been talking about that he's you know he can do it for zero seconds but it probably takes, um, yeah. Think of all the resources you could buy. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. It's um, think of the nice meal you could be bloody buying. Um, I no, I yeah, I don't think they are um, still front employees. I don't, yeah, or Kixi employees. I don't. Uh, but it does it does throw some other questions out there as far as and they, they could just be you know um i know some people that once they're doing well in this thing they just want to keep on going and if they've but to that extent it's um it seems a little crazy to me you know they you, could have done a happy corbin and won a buddy <laughs> jackpot at the casino well, can you blitz? I forgot. Can you blitz these things? Well, I presume you must be able to. That'd be the only way they'd be getting those sort of points. 
Yeah, because even early on, TSM, you shot you shot me pictures of somebody that had some insane number of points pretty quick on in this thing, and we're like... Within 20 minutes, they had over a million points. Yeah, so, yeah it's going to be blitz, blitzable, isn't it? It must be. Yeah, and so... Yeah, it, it, it brings up a lot of questions in my mind when, when I see those kind of numbers. Um, and I don't, I don't think it's... I, I mean... I don't think it's Kixai. I have I have other theories on um, what it probably is, but um, yeah. Well, particularly seeing as though that those people would no doubt have the top level buddy ships to start with. So, you know, there's nothing there's nothing in this buddy event worth doing. There's nothing to collect. Yeah, on. exactly. I mean, unless you, I mean, unless your pures aren't at X one, then there's a few tokens, you know. Yeah, but if you. But apart from that, there's nothing. If your purifiers aren't X one, you're not going to blitz the shit out of out of a buddy event, it'd be, are you? It'd be cheaper to bust X one them for, with coin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um. I, I, I don't know. I haven't really talked to anybody kickside as far as what those people are actually doing at the top of the leaderboard. I mean, there are certain occasions where like uh, Aussie who showed up uh, and then went back away. He was at the top of the leaderboard when he was on the show, at, even if been gone for like two years. And the reason he was at the top of the leaderboard was uh, they seemed to have screwed up on returning players and gave them like over a thousand um, repair tokens. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, but this appears to be something completely different if you're able to get that many points that quickly. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it's, yeah, we should probably move on from this topic. So let's right. go to the next slide. All right. Um, I've not even seen a 910 yet because um, I've only been hitting the 110. Um, I don't know. I guess TSM, you, you said you did. Didn't feel like hitting it, so. Uh, um, I, I, I can. I mean, we can go and take a peek, you know. But they're not okay. fun. I mean, you get a lot of damage. I just, as we've been talking now, I just hit a load of one tens because it's the first time I'd actually hit them. I didn't hit any at all yesterday, so I just hit a couple now. And yeah, I got okay. first one was seventeen minutes, then it was five minutes. I just did two for three minutes. So the one tens, all right, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we can have a laugh at the the horrendous. I mean, I did. I did. Have you hit, um, have you hit any one, nine tens today? No, I haven't actually. So it'd be quite. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. They've, they've. I, I did a little work. They're changed. All right, hang on. Then. Uh, but I, you know, they're only changed as far as the removal of um, the invisible, uh, the invisible land. All right, okay. Because yeah, it's, there are some frustrating sort of like stops and bumps. So what yeah. I was doing for this was uh, was going in at twelve o'clock, and by the time you got down to the center, um, the thorns had gone away. First one. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go away. Shut up. Yeah, we know that. I mean, it's painful, and especially even if you target the building because of the splash. If the ship's in the wrong place, you're still getting the thorns effects damage on yours because the splash is hitting them, which means you're getting the thorns damage. So it isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I like, okay, I like, so I haven't seen this target before. So yeah, that looks that looks a bit different than what it did previously. Well, let's just let's just let it. Let, we'll do okay, nothing. you we'll still just, only we'll have just... one ship. So, what, what, yeah. what, what, what is the blue flag? Wait, uh, on these, these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're little so, yeah, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in then. So these are the ones that are obviously shielded. You can't get these until the ship's dead, obviously. And, I, and okay. I'm not particularly well, sure. No, they they drop off when the thorns drop off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, no, they stay shielded all the time, mate. Once you kill the the Greta Guardian, the 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 fog whatever drops, lists, drops lists, yeah. yeah, and then you clean those four up to complete the target. But before we do anything, I think we'll just go and have a little look and see what because we didn't know what damage a missile does. Let's have a little look and take one. We'll take one hit. There we go. Right, we took one hit. Let's go out and see if it actually does any damage, because that's what Daniel and I were wondering. Like, is it just a visual annoyance? Well, you, you can get further away from it. Yeah, check, check. I mean, are you able to go further? You can't, can you get... There's no retreat button. No, no, oh, no there isn't as well. <laughs> Hi, mate, did I take any damage? Let's have a look at my ships. So I got any damage? I think I've got a sliver on a ship. 
think ship two has got a tiny sliver. So I don't think, think it's a great deal. Anyway, what I was doing was um, coming from the north, I wasn't actually killing that, going straight down then. And then by the time you got down to the center, it was 10 seconds. It took 10 seconds roughly to get down to there. The thorns had dropped. And then straight away, the ship was sort of going down at this angle here. So I was hitting that, counting to about eight seconds, and then targeting this particular sort of like nothing building. So that it was firing in the opposite direction. This little ship that does fire little projectiles at you, though. So we'll, we'll see if we okay, can yeah, cause see the one, that. Okay, because the 110 doesn't seem to fire at you at all. Yeah, it does seem to fire. No, it's coming Okay, and now. these missiles are dumb fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't seem to. I think they're just more visually annoying than anything else because they don't seem to do any. Well, they didn't seem to do any damage then, so well, let's keep away from it for now. <laughs> See, I... This ship's much stronger than the other one, by the way. Oh, yeah. Big time. Okay. A lot stronger. Can you imagine the confusion of two people actually doing it in co-op and all the splashes? And oh, all... it'd be cra crazy, wouldn't it? It'd be, it's, you'd just be all over the place. It's going to chase me now, you darn thing. Yeah. Get out if of you it. Turn, if, if you turned, because it doesn't have any turn speed when it goes through that little sprint mode. So if you turn before... He just shoots right past you, is what I. You know what I mean? Because he just, he can't when he, when he's in sprint mode, he can't turn. Mm. He loses all of his turn speed. Go away, Mister Thorns. Right, that's probably about right. But it is a weird mechanic that the. Only damage that you do is what you do to yourself. It, it feels like something yeah, sort of yeah. terrible. Well, and Thorns was with the Justice, which is what tier four, tier well, four. Well, I'll go now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, and then the Hoplite Wall. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yes, yeah. But that never seemed to be that impressive. I didn't think, to be honest. Yeah, but I can't know, go any further north now. I'm sort of stuck there. Instead of the thorns, the hoplite was more like a feather duster tickler thing. Yeah. Yeah. The first right. time I did one of them, I couldn't leave, get. Leave that for the after show. Uh, <laughs> like, like, I couldn't get anything yeah. further to the right of to the right of that end, buddy turret. You know, it only let me go sort of halfway to the edge of the screen. Yeah, I'm sort of stuck here. I mean, it's, it's just. Well, it's pretty, but you're able to go further away from the center than you were before, right? Just, yeah, yeah. And there seems to be less dead spots, I must admit. Yeah. I mean, this is taking a bit longer than last time. From... Well, your your other method was probably more efficient, but. Yeah. Um... Uh, Bully's saying, you say dead center, the missiles won't fire. No, they don't. But then again, obviously, you got you're getting thorns effect, aren't you? So anyway, so so that's it. And I, I don't think the missiles do a great deal, to be honest. But you can get. I managed to do eight of these without dying. So I did eight, eight last night, and then I just did the rest this morning. And then I got got the obviously all the shards, and that was it. I was done. So it didn't. Um, you know, it was one of those things you do just before you sack it for the night. I thought. Oh, uh, I assume, has anybody out there used the new rocket to just kill the ship outright? That, that would be funny. The new, oh, yeah, uh, well, if you could, yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be hilarious, right? You just go in there, launch a rocket, and then uh, it probably takes, I don't know how long it takes to build that rocket, but... Uh, so 36 driving and taking your time sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can try the other method if you want quickly, and that's just go straight into the center. Um, if I can find one, you do get considerably more damage though. Um, oops, it's not pleasant. Billy, you you don't happen to have the new Daisy Cutter, do you? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, what even about the, what about the Widowmaker? The, who attacked you? Uh, it seems a very strong, but then again, it might just be strong to. Well, if if, if those rockets are adjusted for PvP damage. Let's see what I've got rocket wise just for fun, shall we? <laughs> yeah, just to be annoying. I don't think it, I don't have many. I don't know where my rocket launcher is. I don't use it. Oh, it's no, that's helpful. Is it really upgrade? Oh, I'm building something. I don't know what I'm building. 
Um, so you got to access it by the menu, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. Launch pad. Here we go. <laughs> Load out. What have I got? You got a Widowmaker. Maker. I've got a Widowmaker Maker there. Okay, come on. Let's, <laughs> have, let's have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this works. Because it's not moving at the start of it. No, exactly. It's static. So watch me miss with it. <laughs> I'm just going to get the glasses now. I probably just selected the wrong rocket or something. All right. I'll probably do let's go for okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> well, it took a little off, but it's, not. it's quite tough. Yeah, it must have a huge resistances to um, explosive and radioactive. Yeah. What does that rocket does both damages? Well, no, because it, it resistance to the uh, 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 okay. uh, rocket yeah. be explosive. Yeah, the rocket's explosive. Okay. Right, and the throwers are radioactive, and I assume they were going to make it tough against that if that was. <laughs> Well, the other ones uh, in Siege would be uh, Ballistic. Right. Yeah. So, but yeah, you rock... can sit in the middle of these things. Obviously, the rings don't do not do anything to you. But if you want to then kill the ship, you're just going to get mutilated by the Thorns effect. But I don't think the rockets really do a great deal of damage. You're going to bed after the show anyway, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I don't actually need the target, to be honest, So. Because I've got all the shards, so. My base is by two rockets. One sank my upgraded badger, the other damaged half iron and half another badger. So, probably move those uh, for a little further apart. Oh, you stupid thing. There we go. But, I, you know, I think it's definitely a lot more damage. But to be honest, you only need to do like what 12, 12 targets, and, and you know, it's not a very finesse way of doing it. So, once you've done like you know, it's not like, it's not like when you're in the raid when you've done like you know, I don't know, 50, 50 or 100 targets, you get an absolute perfect pattern. And to yeah. be honest, I haven't done enough targets to care. So, right, yeah, uh, so it was 36, and there you go. Look, it's an extra nearly two and a half hours. Okay, well, hit the uh, hit the uh. Um, we can probably get maybe I don't know. It, so all your, yeah. You know, um, hit the uh, the battle report. The up uh, the oh the yeah, other never mind. Interestingly, he had he had the standard. All it was all radioactive still. All the damage is still radioactive. No 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 no. no, no, no it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't. It was all. It was all that was showing was it was was ballistic oh, at really? the top. But you had he had actually at the bottom a little bit of red on that lower one. And then a ton of it evaded. All right, let's look, let's do another one just for the sake of it. Then. So we'll go just figure find... that. So well, it's coming from the things. missiles that are hitting him. So I was just that's yeah. why I found it curious. I was like seeing that, you know, the ballistic was. So these are radioactive missiles, right? That <laughs> would be yeah. That's the the, the inference you could make. Yeah. 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 Um, so we are chucking little like projectiles at me if you see that yep so that could be him whatever those are I have no idea So if you can get the ship to stay in the middle, you can target the three little things and then I can get the timing just right. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Fairly in the middle anyway. And then you can go the opposite direction to where the thorns is and then now he's run off a little shit. <laughs> Keep out the way, keep out the way, target that instead. No, 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 you little bastard. <laughs> I 
I have to say, I've not done, I've ever done one the same as the next ever. That's very believable. Because it's just the randomness of where that ship goes. But it doesn't seem to be less yet. You're right. It seems to be a lot easier to maneuver around now than it did initially. So yeah. I will have a look at the um, damage now. There we go. So nothing. Well, it was all evaded, but obviously. Yeah, oh, if you um, took it. Yeah, so there we go. So we took it, but evaded it. Yeah. And then uh, we actually did receive uh, 3% on radioactive. So. Yeah, so either the, the turrets or the ship is firing radioactive, while the thorns are ballistic. Yeah, which is... I don't know if I don't know. I don't know if I took ballistic. Yeah, I don't know if I took any thorns damage then whatsoever. I mean, it must have took a bit, but um, well, yeah, it doesn't show. The battle report does not show thorns. Hmm. So what was it? Two hours fifty something. Now it's four hours thirty something. So I still think the other, the first method was the best way because you're getting half an hour. Um, and like I said, I did. I think eight. I think it was last night. Yeah, I did. Was it eight? Was it a bit more? Was it nine? I don't know. Eight or nine, whatever it was. And then I did the other three this morning before I went to work. Went to the the ship the other night. Isn't the green one at the top the thorns damage? Yeah, 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 yeah. The one at the top is is the is. So the even though it says you're evaded, that's that's what yeah, what it's, you've it's, done it's, to it's, yourself. It doesn't help, yeah, because it still doesn't. It doesn't actually affect the, the return damage from the thorns, does it? It doesn't tell you no. that you're you're, no. you're you're hurting yourself, so it's not going to show that. It's not them hurting you. It's it's no, that's like the, that's the actual damage that you take and whatever. <clears throat> well, I, 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 that was ballistic, wasn't it? I'm assuming what what happened there was that battle log was um, created at a point in time where they didn't think they were going to bring the thorns back. And so, therefore, they're not factored in. So, interesting. I mean, look, at the, look at the damage across the fleet. That's the next thing I noticed yesterday. I had considerably more damage on everything by the flagship. Well, I found it interesting that you don't you didn't have the uh, the rainbow trail. Did that end at midnight, or am what, I just I, did what, I just what get rainbow moved? trail? <laughs> Has anybody else seen the rainbow trails? No. Nope, I haven't seen it. It had to be an April Fool's thing, I assume. Yeah, it was the April Fool's it. thing. That's why I'm like, but I'm assuming he's after midnight, but I thought it would all go off of Kick's eye. Nobody, am I the only, hey, am, did somebody dose me at some point? Okay, so is 30 there, 48. Nobody else is seeing the wake of the ship huh. being like a weird rainbow thing? No. 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 Wow. But then what again, are you smoking? I have <laughs> no idea. Targets. <laughs> So, and, and, and so, it's explained to me. Is it the extra resistance and that sort of stuff? The fact that it's got extra armor, it's stronger. But you can see then the the um, flagship look took thirty eight minutes damage in total, and then the normal ships all took or up to an hour already. So when these ships were all four ships were dead, I still only had just over half the damage on the flagship. Now, is that with Thorn's effect? I wouldn't have thought that would have made any difference. That the fact that the flagship's got lots of evade because it doesn't work like that. So. But is the flagship has got more armored, right? It's the, it's the armor resistance factor. Do you reckon it is? No, no, the armor, armor, raw armor. The raw armor is higher, isn't it? Well, that's a good point. What are we on? Armor points nine point one. Have I got both the same? I've got. Said oh, for R. You got both. two R's on that one instead of an I R and have, a C. Yeah. So nine point one, and both of those have got R's on. An 8.6 and alternate. Yeah, interesting. But then again, the th well, it's, it's difficult because the thorns is obviously ballistic. Which I don't think it makes a difference whether you've got armor or not. I, I can't. It's hard for me to see. Is it? It's the raw armor different between those two? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, it is. Uh, 8. 9.1 to 8.6. Half a million mm. different. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that's the difference. Which is substantive. Yeah, it's substantive enough, isn't it? You know, but the flagship has got two R armors on it, but that's not going to change the fact to the, to the um, thorns effect. Okay, Lego is the only one that's not gaslighting me. Oh, really? I haven't seen it. <laughs> well, I didn't see it this morning. I mean, I was on this. Well, what time? Really, it's very visible when you're when you're hitting a target. 
there's, uh, you know, but you know, one targets and well, all the all the, there's like a whole, you know, like. But if you have, things, go if ahead. you have your effects turned off or certain effects turned off, maybe that's why you're not seeing it. Yeah, oh yeah, I've got virtually everything turned off. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's um, see. Is there any any effects in here? Let's have a look. No, yeah, I don't do the contrail thing. I must I, admit. I, I, well, I'm assuming it's all the same for. I'm assuming. Go up into the uh, your little. Turn your ship wakes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now move. No, nope. I I don't know what's going on. You're on something special. You are. <laughs> Me and Lego. <laughs> I'm not seeing ship wakes for you. I, I, must, I must have turned these off like years ago. <laughs> I, I take a lot of meds. I see all sorts of things. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got to um, get out of here. Nice. Well, there yeah. must be something else that's, uh, you know, going on that's uh, causing this. I don't something know. in the water down there or something in the beer you're drinking? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, it's just me. It seems to be me and Lego. They're the only ones that are seeing this. So it's Unicorn not a mass ghost. hallucination. It's just me and Lego hallucination is what I think is going on here. But because um, I didn't actually see anybody comment on it. So I think people have got, um, I don't know what, um, particle effects. It could be a lot of, I don't know where it would be. Uh, um yeah, I, 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 I'm just surprised that, you know, out of all, you know, of the people watching, it's only me and Lego that see this. Well, maybe everyone autoed the target, so they just clicked on it and then went and did something else. All right, so you got everything on at this point. So just, I just want to uh, make sure the sound wasn't on because it just deafened me, but it's, that's off still. Oh, the sound good. effects. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Artist says that they. He saw the rainbows in the nine tens earlier. They're not there anymore. Okay, all right. So maybe it's over at this point. So uh, um, maybe, but I'm. Oh, the clouds! <laughs> oh, look at them! They're smashing by. It's like UK weather at the moment. <sighs> yeah. So um, maybe they're over with. But I thought it would change. At like midnight their time, which is you know, yeah, yeah. Bad. Oh my word, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> That's horrendous. <laughs> yeah, and you're still not getting the. Uh... That's so bright, God Almighty! <laughs> That's just awful. What effect is that? If I just turned on there, That's I nasty. think it's uh, something about the auras and. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, None of those, no is it? Building. Ship, no. Friendly firing arcs. It's, it's, yeah, friendly... It's, it's, it's the friendly firing arcs one. Turn those off. And and turn the... Turn, there was another firing arcs one. Turn them both off. <sighs> Or whatever that it's at. There we go. Oh, huh. that's, better. that's just so much. Nicer. There, we, there we go. I got rid of it. But still, no. Uh, no funny colors. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm just sort of surprised at the timing that they turned it off. So you were uh, just dreaming about unicorns, mate. That's what it was. No, 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 no. Ligeth, Ligo, and Artith have uh, seen it too. So. Uh, I know I'm not the only one. Um, so, oh well. Anyway, right, right, we're done messing about, aren't we? I think. Yeah, Peg, like, we can probably go back to you. Okay. I'm going to fix my busted chips. You're going to bust some chips? Is that what you said? That's, that's, I'm right. going to fix those busted chips. So we got the store. You got me up on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm putting you up now. All right. Um, um, purifier upgrade tokens and build tokens, especially if you're not at X1 for your purifier, you can get up to five, 10 grand each. 
two of the one tens will get you there. Um, it does take a amount of time. Um, um, but um, certainly helpful if you need them. No yeah. question there. Yeah, and then the Spreg Reckoning chest, which seems to have multiple uh, uh, skins, resources, whatever. Um, I'm not sure how many skins you need to get. Um, so there really isn't a big draw in order to do a lot of these, um, despite people having a couple million points on this. And I'm not sure what they're doing with the rest of this stuff, but... Uh, um, I suppose it's just uh, worth reminding people that, you know, everything Assault and Skirmish and that stuff is the previous tier fleet, so... Yep. It's, there's no benefit unless you're unless you never got to finish off a previous fleet you'd like to. So, yeah, 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 and they do carry it right. They do carry over, but it's always the previous one. Mm, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you plan to, you know, it would, might not be a good bad idea to load up on them if you plan to quit the game for a year. And then come back and open up these chests and like, oh, I got all this stuff now. But if, if you're caught up in the game, they're probably not that relevant to what you're doing at the moment. Nope. So, um, all right. Um, yeah, that was all that discussion. Yeah, I don't know. We uh, It was pretty much, uh, unless KB, I think you were the only one not part of this discussion is... Um, on Wednesday, um, did you watch it? Um, I can't remember now, to be honest. Well, it basically dealt with the fact that the I'll go to the next slide. Um, uh, it basically dealt with the fact that <laughs> the primal brute. Um, you can go to the next slide. Um, the primal brute. Um, the aura that it produces relative to a normal brute only uh, increases your, if you go old school, your resistance is from 90.66 to 92.43, but it also increases your combat speed. And those are all nice things. Um, I think the combat speed is actually the most um, beneficial of the, yeah. uh, of the three things. Agreed. But at the same time, because of the uh, the huge um, difference in health between the primal brute and the normal brutes, that um, the primal brute is going to take 15 minutes of accuracy-based king killer damage before it's um, that accuracy-based king killer is going to engage other ships. So it does a good job of neutering your five minutes speed up if that's the way you you hit the targets associated with the brute and whether that was a good thing or a bad thing is basically so but i think all of us uh um oh no no, no, no he leaves <laughs> so i don't know that that was uh mid, mid explanation kb leaves the uh so i he disappeared like it had enough <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember it, so maybe I'm gonna go back and watch the old show. So, uh, um, so all right. Um, again, I put the link out there. I'll put it out again in case anybody wants to join. Um, if not, I guess we'll see you all on Wednesday when we are talking pillage and um, whatever that may entail. Yeah, do we think be... we're getting a? Uh, I was just going to say before we just finish off, what are you doing with all your shipbuild tokens? I, I'm I nothing to do. I can't work out what to use them for. And, I've, and, and if we go into next week's FM and there's nothing there from pillage, then I'm going to have to dump a load or not bother doing the FM sort of stuff. I, I think a, a lot of people, you know, I don't have anything to do with them. I'm going to assume I'm going to do some sort of. Um, you're probably already all caught up on your PvP stuff, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. It'd be great if we had like a, uh, a tier 11 defender in Pillage, in case anybody's listening. Yeah, um, I built the two subs and I'm building slowly, in slow time, a couple of extra heliuses, but but there's no reason to speed them up. So, you know, I'm, I'm just letting them go in slow time. So, you know, there's nothing really out there to, I mean, I suppose it's a nice position to be in, but it's just, 
there's nothing really there that needs tokens. So unless something comes in pillage, I can see me have to not collect them or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you can always. I mean, yeah. I'm not in the same situation. I still have stuff to build, but yeah. It's, um, but nothing in really in PVE. Um, but a lot of people are still probably working on um, upgrading their ships, which doesn't help get rid of them. Um, yeah, yeah, get rid of the build. I wish those, at one point in time, oh, what was the guy's name? Um, oh, I can't remember the game. They was talking about an Omni, Omni token. Mm, that they yes. might switch over to, um, it was Raken that would do both upgrades and builds but that that's never that that was the discussion at one point as far what a as a good way to get rid of all these worthless tokens that we got in our inventory yep yep that was yeah yeah and that that was seemed to be the solution but uh yeah um uh, along with the mega ship uh, they both have uh, both died on the vine what there's a mega ship <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> he was uh, he was also the inventor of the mega ship, but uh, yeah, the um... yeah, well, they let him down badly on that, didn't they? So they they, told, they sold him a good story, then told him he couldn't do more than one. So <laughs> they got all the blueprints, all the design for the for the Reva version, and then we were never allowed to have it, were we? So why do they keep running the <laughs> campaigns for it though? That's what I'm not understanding. <laughs> I have no idea. Is anyone? Do they actually have any uh, information to suggest that people are actually doing the campaign? There, I, I have seen a few doing the campaigns, and there are a couple around me currently that have, uh, you know, the whole uh, mega ship thing going and are like invested in it. First time I've seen that in forever. Oh, yeah, well, well, we could all get along and just all build bar a barracuda like White Diablo did. And that would be. Uh, yeah, you know, especially. Oh, did you have to get it to? I forget. When did it become gold? Do you have to upgrade level it? Level ten. Level oh, ten. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Retrofit yeah. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if we all end up with. Uh, so I build a fleet of HHs or something, you know. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean. And then go hit a forty res. Or we'll flying and, fortresses. Yeah, it's an FFs and go and hit some reso and have a, have a hard battle just to kill a 71. <laughs> yeah, it take, yeah. takes three weeks to get to your target. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. They could probably, you know, they could probably do pretty well if, like, in this event, they released, uh, like, hot pink barracuda skins or, or flying fortresses skins. People would probably build them just to put the skins on and see what they well, look Well, it's interesting. There is a collection of it. I don't know. You may have seen them, but particularly in the Alpha Ward, I've seen them. There's a collection of bases, basically, where they're only allowed that the part of the joining their group is your. I mean, they're not in alliance, they're just all in a cluster and they fight each other and they're only allowed to use um, researchable tech. Okay. So if it's not, it's not researched inside a building, you can't use it. And, and, it, and it is funny watching some of their fights because they're using, obviously, you know, all the old stuff right from the very beginning. And, and, and I'm sure they're having a right good laugh. But, is, it um, all, is, it, is it all fleet versus fleet? Most of it, yeah. Well, they're doing some base hits, but yeah, but most of it's fleet versus fleet. And but their bases yeah. have got to be the old turrets, right? So you can't yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of exactly. Token. It's all old turrets, and and you know, and it, it's, it's basically researchable tech from any inside any of the buildings. That's all they can use. So was it something like the sea scorpion that had changed color with the armor? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The right, sea yeah. serpent. A yeah, there was one that would. It would, it would change like, green, then brown, and that sort of penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I thought it was a good little sideline, yeah, a good bit of fun, isn't it? You know, because you know, just watching FFs hitting bases and stuff like that, it just amuses me. Well, and you got to think with the way repairs these days, they're probably all instant repair and all their stuff, so they can play for, they have their little bit of fun, or whatever, without incurring any real repair times or anything to worry about. Just yeah, make it, yeah. Just make it a bleeping around, you know, exercise. Hmm. Yeah, no, it would be interesting, and especially if like, but how do they tell? Are they allowed to use like turret specials that aren't you know? Because you could get you could throw a turret special in there, and people are like, you know, because you would have to have some vetting on both sides as far as like, no, 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 he's using 
a blueprint uh, reloader on his Victory Mortar Four, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, and that's the other question. If you're going out and collecting resin, which obviously you're going to have to do, do you still get blueprints from the thingies? Because you used to be able to get, obviously, you know, uh, part shards, didn't you, for blueprints? Yeah, you still can, I think, but it's, most people playing the game have had everything for so long. Yeah, so, so I don't know. I mean, going back to that, I don't know if you still get the blueprints or not. Because you could use one of the crews, couldn't you, and go and get tons of blueprints. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. think you can. Well, that's what no, 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 people, 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 people still get... I see. I still see people on Discord asking, "I need this. What level cargo do I hit?" So yeah. I put a crew on a couple of weeks ago. But, but what are you looking for? I hit every target out there just to see if I could get one. But and I well, never well, got. I had a crew on and got zero out of the entire crew. But I'm saying, are you, you're probably full. You probably I'm, have the ball, right? I'm not. There's things I don't have. Well, the, the, yeah, but there's the, other stuff that's been dropped in uh, special events and stuff like that that, you know, was never part of the blueprint drops. Yeah, because you could be missing something that just was never part of ship recovery blueprint drops. It could be. Yeah. I know there were several old, old specials that I wanted. And I went out and intentionally looked for... 40s and below, and I just hit every every salvage I could find. See, so at one stage, zero. at one stage, some of the stuff would appear in the FM for about four weeks or something or other, then yeah. it disappear forever. I got none out of a hundred percent crew. Well, yeah, yeah, but I um, mean. All I'm saying is, I, we don't. I mean, Lego and other people. You know, I've seen people asking, and they're getting them. I assume hmm, they have all the blueprint shards associated with anything that um, does drop inside the cargo. I was thinking about trying it again because I've heard a lot of people talking about doing it and getting them. But, yeah, yeah, but, but, I think, but I think you're probably full, is what I'm saying. I think I've still got the print of um, what you get from each level cargo as well. I used to have a big sheet. Um, That'd be cool to have. I think I've probably got that somewhere kicking around. I'll, I'll have to dig it out and see if it's. I'll post it. I'd on the be page able to t- see if that's the issue that what I want I just can't get anymore. You have to blow the digital dust off that thing. Well, you often <laughs> yeah, it'll be in some drive See people yeah. asking for stuff in the raids that are old. Oldish items that old just, specials normally, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that uh, were around for a little while and then they just stopped and they've never come back. So there's there's quite a number of stuff I think that people have uh, not got that just were only around for a limited time and for some reason never ever reappeared. Yeah. I didn't stop to think about it. I've got a, a lot of things that uh, I have number three, but I do not have one and two. It's a bit weird. Like one of the builds somebody posted, I think it was Derby. Uh, you had to change a three to a two on something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, to go down a level, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably a rocket reload. Rocket reload, like yeah, that. probably. And, and I did not have the one and the two, but I did have the three. Interesting. Well, the top level reloader you could get in a prize, but the other one yeah. you have to research, and that's in a building, one of the buildings. I was going to say sometimes that come down to. A- down to a choice as to what points you had to spend too at whatever event it was. I'm late you to know, the and day more often, I'm not a top more often than it. not you'd take you'd take the top level one and not worry about yeah the other ones because back then there wasn't necessarily huge issues weight wise. What's all the uh Low level bases with low numbers doing popping up. Did y'all talk about that tonight? I wasn't. Yeah, I was just saying that I, as there seems to be a, and I saw it on a page. I'm not sure which page it was, but, um, and I saw it, maybe on a kickside page actually, where there was a lot of people just 
coming back in with new bases, but they were just only allowed to use Forsaken. They just self-decided that if you're going to come and join and play, you can only use researchable tech, are you Forsaken tech? And there's a number one in our sector. I don't number know one how base. that happened. Number one player, yeah. Huh. With a with a $18 million ID. Wow. That's what I said. How did that happen? That'd be an alt. Yeah, it must be. We're, we're, we're miles past um, 18, 18 mil, aren't we? Well, we're well into them, at least. I've seen a lot of 18 mils around that are fit reasonably high bloody levels, too. Well, I started a new base just to play around about four months ago. It's still a uh, 69, 70, somewhere in there. And it started out as a 71 or 61. Yeah, they accelerate you very fast. You, do, you jump a load of stuff. As soon as you've gone through the like the, you know, the first couple of days, they they throw you into a massive number. And that level one just surprised me. I hadn't seen a level one in a long time. Well, every now and then you used to you used to see the influx of new bases. That sort of have it on rotation but there's a, a different sector tended to get all the new bases there's like a 42 47 with six digit id right down the road for me uh, noob hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah or it could be someone who's but he's been away for a long time and a long time. <laughs> All right. Um anything else? Sorry, I was nah, grabbing the beer. We're All good, right. man. Yep. All right, everybody. Um, thanks for showing up. We'll be back on Wednesday when we'll be talking about the new calendar, hopefully. Hey. And we'll be talking about pillage and what we should expect in pillage. And um so uh Actually, what should we expect in pillage? Damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good recommendation to right now. If you can grab all the upgrade tokens for your purifiers and build tokens and get all those, you know, out of the way, spend your time upgrading your brutes because yep. your brutes are going to be probably where your damage is taken. And I would expect a different target. I think so too. And obviously the fact that you want to get your FM out of the way and there'll probably only be two thirty threes as well. So you're gonna get smashed on your brutes next week. Well no, they they've they have they have made a good they made a good effort, I think. You know, we we talked about it earlier in the show. They've made a very good effort to increase the uh the availability of the two thirteen and two twenty three by increasing the 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 spawn um locations around each SRB from two to four. So I'm not having any problems at this point. It was a problem at the beginning of the FM, but no longer a problem in my mind. Um, they're close about. Um, they they seem to realize that that was a problem and fixed it. So Fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll see what happens next time around because I, I did, the, did the FM early, so... Yeah, but or any changes. So, but yeah, yeah. Everybody, if, if you're we're having issues earlier, go out with your locator and look for two thirteens, especially the two twenty threes. Um, they seem to be that seems to be the sweet spot as far as the target goes. Um, but they're from at least in my sector, they're they're highly available. So, uh, alrighty, folks, yeah, well, we'll be be back there. But besides. Um, besides damage, what, what should we, we're not getting a flagship. No, maybe, are we due for another special for the group? Um, a mortar, a mortar, Helios, tier 11. I don't, I wouldn't expect that as the main prize in pillage, but I, I like where KB's going. Then maybe we get an engine or something else for the uh for the brute That'd yeah be unless they unless they're gonna drop something for the next raid chip early 
Yeah, yeah, they could do that. They could drop the engine or, you know. Limited, well, limited weapons will probably be in there for it. That's standard, right? Yeah, yeah. Limited weapons for the next, yeah. for, the, for the Heavy Cruiser Mark II. But, um. Which are what? Normally some sort of scattergun type thing, weren't they? On the last time around, the Heavy Cruiser. Wasn't that a scatter, a scatter type uh, ship? Yes. Yeah. Um, was the heavy cruiser back when they were doing two different weapons, though? No, I don't or they, or they were so. doing two different CIC. They were doing something funky with no, that. No, they, they were fast ships, though. And they had two heavy weapon slots, and then you had a couple of, of lightweight other weapons along with it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll find out on um, on Wednesday. Um, show back up. And uh, thank you all for showing up. Uh, both the people in chat and the people on the show and we will uh we'll see you in a few days later people later